Hi, I am Sohail. Today I am going to talk about the structure and composition of the lysosomes. Main points of the lesson are types of the lysosomes, primary lysosomes and secondary lysosomes, autophagy or self-eating, functions of lysosomes and Tay-Sachs disease. Lysosomes are known as garbage disposal because lysosomes are large complex sacs surrounded by membranes that have large number of different enzymes to break down and recycle all kinds of molecules. They work on proteins, nucleic acids, carbohydrates and fats. They are thought to be both the waste disposal and digestive department for all molecules. A lysosome is similar to a wrecking crew that takes down old and unsound buildings in a neighborhood. Lysosomes are the structures that contain digestive enzymes and these digestive enzymes are hydrolytic enzymes which are produced by rough endoplasmic reticulum. Lysosomes are enzyme containing vesicles which are released from Golgi complex. Lysosomes are membrane bound vesicles that contain hydrolytic enzymes and these hydrolytic enzymes are synthesized by rough endoplasmic reticulum and hydrolytic enzymes they can degrade proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleic acid. So the enzymes are transported from rough endoplasmic reticulum to Golgi apparatus by transport vesicles and these enzymes are changed into finished products and these finished products are packed in these small vesicles which are known as lysosomes. So lysosomes they contain hydrolytic enzymes and hydrolytic enzymes they can degrade proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleic acids. Lysosomes are small sacs of digestive enzymes which are dispersed in the cytoplasm of most animal cells. Enzymes within the lysosomes they help in the breakdown of proteins polysaccharides, lipids, nucleic acids and even worn out organelles. Lysosomes they maintains a pH of about 5 in its interior. The pH within the lysosomes is more acidic than the pH of the cytoplasm. These enzymes are active at a much lower pH than that of the cytoplasm. Researchers have identified about 40 different digestive enzymes in lysosomes. There are two types of lysosomes that is primary lysosomes and secondary lysosomes. Primary lysosomes are formed by budding from Golgi complex and their hydrolytic enzymes are synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. As these enzymes they pass through the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum sugars attached to each molecule as identification tag that identify it as bound for a lysosome. So this signal permits the Golgi complex to sort the enzyme to the lysosomes rather than to export it from the cell. Enzymes in primary lysosomes are inactive. The membrane of lysosome is impermeable that separates the degradative enzymes inside the lysosomes from other cellular components. Secondary lysosome, when a primary lysosome that combines with another membrane bound vesicle that changes into a secondary lysosome and secondary lysosome that contains activated enzymes. One or more primary lysosomes they fuse with a vesicle that contains ingested material forming a larger vesicle and that larger vesicle is known as secondary lysosome. And the powerful enzymes in the secondary lysosome come in contact with the ingested molecules and degrade them into their components. As we can see in this slide, a primary lysosome that combines with a phagosome that has ingested food. So primary lysosome when it combines with phagosome it delivers hydrolytic enzymes into the food vacuole and this hydrolytic enzyme that degrades the proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and nucleic acid and digested food is diffusible. So digested food by diffusion that is distributed to the cytoplasm and undigested food is released from the cell during exocytosis. 
Autophagy or self-eating is the process of a cell digesting its own structures. Mitochondria are replaced in some tissues every 10 days. So lysosomes, they can also break down damaged organelles such as mitochondria that have been captured in vesicles and allow their components to be recycled or used as energy source. Lysosomes are also involved in the breakdown of bone to release calcium ions into the blood. Lysosomes are also important for breaking down a foreign material. For example, when certain immune defense cells like white blood cells, they phagocytize bacteria and the bacterial cell is transported into a lysosome and digested by enzymes inside. Let us watch this simulation to examine that how lysosomes of white blood cell digest bacteria. Under certain circumstances, lysosomes they perform a crucial role. In the case of damaged or unhealthy cells, lysosomes can be triggered to open up and release their digestive enzymes that is hydrolytic enzymes into the cytoplasm. When, when these hydrolytic enzymes they are released in the cytoplasm that is the killing of the cell. This self-destruct mechanism is called autolysis and makes the process of controlled cell death that is also known as apoptosis. One of the genetic abnormality is called Tay-Sachs disease which is caused by the loss of function of single lysosomal enzyme that is called hexosaminidase. Tay-Sachs disease is an inherited disease in which normal lipid cannot be broken down and the accumulation of this lipid in brain cells that causes severe intellectual disability, blindness and death before age 4. Let us watch this simulation which explains the formation of lysosome. Lysosomes are membrane bound vesicles that contain hydrolytic enzymes. The hydrolytic enzymes degrade proteins, nucleic acids, lipids, and carbohydrates and are formed in the endoplasmic reticulum. These enzymes are then transported to the Golgi apparatus by transport vesicles. The lysosomes arise from the Golgi apparatus. When particles such as viruses or bacteria are ingested by phagocytosis, the lysosome fuses with the particle containing vesicle called a phagosome and delivers the hydrolytic enzymes. Lysosomes also fuse with organelles such as old mitochondria. This results in the destruction and recycling of these structures. To sum up, Lysosomes are membrane-bound vesicles that contain hydrolytic enzymes. 
Lysosomes are divided into two categories that is primary lysosomes and secondary lysosomes. Primary lysosomes are formed by budding from Golgi complex and they contain hydrolytic enzyme and this hydrolytic enzyme in primary lysosomes is inactive. Secondary lysosome, when a primary lysosome it combines with another membrane bound vesicle that contains ingested food forming a larger vesicle and that larger vesicle is known as secondary lysosomes. Functions of lysosomes, digest unneeded cellular components like mitochondria are replaced in some tissues every 10 days. The genetic abnormality is called Tay-Sachs disease which is caused by the loss of function of single lysosomal enzyme that is called hexosaminidase. Autophagy or self-eating is the process of a cell digesting its own structures. Lysosomes are also involved in the breakdown of bone to release calcium ions into the blood. Let's watch this slideshow to differentiate between primary lysosomes and secondary lysosomes. Thank you.